Big news from our nation's capital today as President Barack Obama announces his nominee for Associate Justice to the U.S. Supreme Court. Today I am nominating Chief Judge Merrick Brian Garland to join the Supreme Court. Garland's name was on the short list for the past two rounds when Sonia Sotomayor and Elena Kagan were nominated and confirmed. The 63-year-old has been on the federal bench for the past two decades. Merrick will replace Justice Antonin Scalia, who died last month. Scalia is said to be one of the most influential Supreme Court justices of all time. Virginia Senator Mark Warner coming out in support of his nomination, saying that Judge Garland is an exceptional judge worthy of the honor of serving on the U.S. Supreme Court. WSLS 10 National Correspondent Chant Seals in Washington with the latest. Good afternoon. Merrick B. Garland will soon be a household name. He's going to be at the very center of a ferocious battle between the White House and Senate Republicans. Just less than an hour ago, the president made his official nomination for Supreme Court official in the Rose Garden. We want to give you an idea of who this man is. Merrick Garland is 63 years old. He's been on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals for nearly 20 years now. He became chief judge of that court in 2013. Garland is a graduate of Stanford Law School. He's well known as a moderate judge. He's also well liked and well respected by both parties. But, and here's the big but, that does not mean he will sail through the Senate at all. Just moments ago, Mitch McConnell was on the floor saying he is doubling down. He will not confirm or his uh, senators will not meet with also Merrick B. Garland. Usually we would start seeing meet and greets here pretty soon. Then we would see confirmation hearings. Eventually, we'd see an up or down vote. Doesn't look like that's going to happen this year. Meanwhile, the White House does have a well-coordinated campaign involving grassroots efforts. And the media, they're trying to apply pressure to Senate Republicans. It will be a while before we see if they blink. We're covering it live all the time, very closely, here in Washington, D.C. for you. I'm Chance Seals, National Cor Correspondent. We'll send it back to you.